In this video, we will be studying about the excess demand or the inflationary gap. See, your excess demands refers to a situation when aggregate demand is in excess of aggregate supply corresponding full employment in the economy your aggregate demand is more than your aggregate supply corresponding to full employment desired aggregate demand in the economy happens to increase its full employment level see in this case what happens when your aggregate demand is more than your aggregate supply it is a situation when your aggregate demand when your full employment is there is more your aggregate demand at more than full employment right this is your full employment and this is your more than full employment situation so in this case your resources are fully utilized because there is full employment level in the economy if your aggregate demand increases from your full employment level then what happens your aggregate supply you cannot increase because how will you produce more how will you you cannot increase your level of output because you have already utilized all of your resources in this case your aggregate demand will be equal to aggregate supply and your price will rise in the economy it is and this rise in price causes an inflationary gap in the economy let's understand this graphically this is a graph on x axis you take income on y axis you take your aggregate demand so we know that your aggregate supply is equal to your income now this is your aggregate demand when there is full employment so this is the equilibrium level and this is the equilibrium income now if your aggregate demand increases from your full employment level which means your aggregate demand is more than your full employment level your aggregate demand e in this way your equilibrium is not restored here because you cannot increase your aggregate supply because if there is full employment here which means that you your resources are fully and efficiently utilized all of the your resources are utilized so this is the only case when you reach your full employment level now the aggregate supply in the economy cannot be reached in that case so what will happen in this case your aggregate demand is here so your aggregate demand will help will increase the price in the economy your so this is the excess demand if 
your prices are increased in the economy ultimately there are some people who cannot who won't be able to afford that particular commodity so they will reduce their demand ultimately again aggregate demand will be restored at this level that is your excess demand if that happens so this is your excess demand situation your excess demand is equal to ade that is more than employment full employment aggregate demand minus your aggregate demand corresponding to full employment this is more than full employment this is full employment so in this case your ef this part is your excess demand see when there is excess demand you cannot increase your supply because you have already utilized your resources fully so you do not have resources with you to increase the supply in the market if you have already at full employment level so there is increase in the prices of the commodity so this gap is known as inflationary gap that is general rise in the price level of a commodity so inflationary gap is the excess of aggregate demand over and above its level required to maintain full employment equilibrium in the economy so your inflationary gap inflationary gap is equal to your excess demand is equal to your aggregate demand at more than full employment level minus aggregate demand at full employment level that is ef is again your inflationary gap that is the prices in the economy of a particular good has increased so this is the economy inflationary gap and the excess demand in the economy Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.